After my metal was finished, I sandblasted it and steam cleaned it. According to the manufacturing company for the metal, they recommend that you degas your coping. That will be a final purge and will um, remove any gases that are trapped into the metal. So I've done that and once that uh, cooled, I applied, I applied a slurry coat of my mixed opaque here all the way over the coping and that will allow me to have a better bond when I start applying my first coat of opaque. So I've chosen the shade for this particular crown which is an A1. I've mixed up the A1 opaque here and I'm going to apply that with my instrument. Just paint it over the whole coat, or the whole the whole uh, coping here. Don't try to put too much on or block out the metal too much, because I'm going to be applying two coats of opaque. What this is going to do is it's going to mask out the, the gray metal here so that when I put my porcelain on, which has more translucency than the opaque, I won't see that metal coming through. So I've covered it with the light layer and I'm going to put it on my tray and I'm going to fire this the opaque cycle of my porcelain oven and once it comes down and cools now I'll apply one more coat the same way I I just applied this one. Okay, my second coat of opaque has come down out of the oven and it's cooled. And you can no longer see any metal, any gray areas are, have been eliminated now. It's completely masked out. And so, it's time for me to build my porcelain. So I will uh, put this on the model. I have sealed my contacts here.